Ladies and gentlemen, renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson backs battery swap innovation in EV for its efficiency. Collaborations with Chang'an and Geely emphasize its potential, heralding a transformative shift within NIO's secure network. Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is among the world intelligent individuals and is himself a renowned astrophysicist, states that the battery swap method is the right approach. Additionally, I would like to discuss some important details CEO has mentioned regarding the collaboration with Chang and Yili on battery swap, how it will work, and what the future plan is for the standardization of battery swap. But first, Neil deGrasse Tyson spoke about battery swap on the Joe Rogan podcast, which is quite fascinating. He mentioned that people want to buy electric cars because they need something that charges quickly. And this is the most significant complaint people have about electric cars. You can either fix it one way, but another way is to find a method where you can swap batteries so quickly that it takes less time than filling up with petrol. You know how much time you spend standing there with your hand on the nozzle until the gas is filled. So they just need to create a mountain from where people can come and take their buses. Is it worse than a sunken reservoir, a gas tank? What's the difference? Maybe the volume is more, right? But if it's economical, then you'll do it, right? And if everything is under the battery car, and you run like NASCAR, take out the battery, and you're gone. Do you think this is the future? Why not? It's better than charging the battery. Do you know when a wise person in the world says that battery swap is good, it means that all those who are calling battery swap foolish are perhaps foolish themselves. Maybe they don't understand the whole process, and they are absolutely right. Convenience charging seems so outdated compared to battery swap. And with NIO, don't think that if you want, you can't charge like other EV. But swapping not only saves time, but also saves you from touching any dirty chargers. You don't have to face heavy rain or lift a heavy charger. And along with that, the most important thing is upgradability. Nothing is better. I have heard of cases where some Tesla owners have changed their batteries three times, spending a lot of money. This is something you don't have to worry about with NIO. So obviously, those who say that battery swap is foolish are themselves foolish. Just swap it, my friend. Why waste your time? Charging is a bit outdated. It's almost like imagining that you started manually pumping gas at a petrol pump, wasting time getting your hands dirty. And battery swap is like a modern gas pump. Just swap and go. Done. So the wise people of the world, the astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, support battery swap. Many other companies are also supporting battery swap. Let's talk about more partners like Chang'an and Geely. They are not foolish. They believe in the future of battery swap. They know how important it is. But one important thing that the CEO has mentioned is how the partnership will work. So NIO will have a private network swap network that will be exclusive only to NIO owners and NIO cars. And then a public network, which can be used for NIO brand, NIO sub-brand Alps, and Geely, Chandon, and their partner brands and their cars. And the way it will work is that NIO will have a battery pack that they will use in Alps cars, and this battery pack will be given to these companies, Chang'an Motors and Geely Motors, and they can design their products around this battery pack. And fundamentally, the battery pack is basically NIO battery pack. So, NIO will receive funding for the design of the battery pack, and they will also receive funds for swap stations. And how this will work is, other companies will own the swap stations, but NIO will operate them and assist in building them essentially selling the swap stations to them. However, NIO will operate through its cloud service network, which is excellent. This means that for the public swap network, which other brands can also use, NIO capital expenditure on this network will be lower. They won't have to spend a lot of money. These companies will invest their own money, and on paper, they will own them. Still, when it comes to operating the swap station, NIO will have a say and will manage the operations. This is good because some people were concerned about how NIO could dominate in battery swaps if someone else owns the swap station. But here's the interesting thing. There is a commitment from other companies. If NIO is only building swap stations and there is no commitment from others, they might abandon the battery swap path in the future. Therefore, 
Seeing commitment is crucial, and this is also good. It's almost like being public. Imagine the battery swap network as public. Most stations will belong to NIO, but some will belong to others or other brands or companies. In this way, NIO will receive a lot of money. Then, perhaps, NIO will list or IPO its battery swap business. This is something NIO managers have mentioned, and it means that NIO can get money in so many ways that they will never go bankrupt. This is a way to take the charging and battery swap business public and make a lot of money. Some people are completely unaware of battery swapping and the benefits it offers. It's astonishing. This indicates that we are still in the early stages of the whole battery swapping game. Some argue that standardizing it is impossible. Well, it has already been standardized. Those who use sub-brand cars, along with their battery packs, have already been standardized. So this is fantastic. Many online comments suggest that battery swapping won't work because Tesla tried it and failed. Well, is it possible that Tesla didn't do it correctly? Have you seen the panel gaps in their cars? And battery swapping is a very precise process, right? There can't be a large margin of error. From this perspective, maybe it became very challenging for Tesla with such precision. On the other hand, in NIO, you've seen that their cars are very precisely made and they have completed more than 30 million swaps, fully validating this concept. I don't understand why people still say it's foolish and won't work. In my opinion, the structural battery pack is the most foolish thing. If you need to change the battery, if your battery has degraded, what's the point of changing the entire structure of the car? So it's great that Neil deGrasse Tyson support battery swapping. I hope NIOPR team pays attention to this and perhaps promotes it or provides a quote. That would be quite beneficial. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson champions the efficiency of EV battery swap innovations, aligning with NIO transformative strides and collaboration with Chang'an and Geely. His insights on the Joe Rogan podcast emphasize the superiority of swapping over conventional charging methods, highlighting its time-saving, cleanliness, and upgradability advantages. With NIO strategic partnerships and standardized approach, battery swap emerges as a future-proof solution, despite skeptics' misconceptions. Tyson support underscores the paradigm shift towards efficient, hassle-free EV power solutions. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.